Good morning. Today we are going to see deep flip flop. Before going to see deep flip flop, I will give a brief introduction of SR flip flop. Because we are going to change SR flip flop into deep flip flop. In last class we have seen SR flip flop using NOR gate as well as SR flip flop using NAND gate. First let us see using NOR gate. Two NOR gates, you take two NOR gates, let it mark A and B and here one input is there and here another input is there. This input is S input, this is R input and two inputs are cross coupled. Already I told in last class these two are cross coupled and it has Q and Q bar outputs. Now you have to connect and get here and and get here to and gets. This is S input is here and this R input is here and you have to connect both together and it is CP that is clock pulse. Clock pulse is always one in order to work this SR flip flap. Now when S equal to 1, R equal to 0. S equal to 1, R equal to 0. According to NOR gate truth table, when any one of the input is 1, when any one of the input is 1, the corresponding output is 0. Therefore, you are here giving 1 here. You are giving 1 here. Therefore, this corresponding output is 0. You are giving 1 here. The corresponding output is 0. Now, this 0 goes here. Therefore, here you are getting 0 and here 0. Here 0 means AND gate produces 0. Because 1 input is 0 means AND gate gives 0. Therefore, both the inputs are 0. Therefore, both the inputs are 0 means Q equal to 1. Both the inputs are 0 means Q equal to 1. Now, you listen this because I am going to erase this truth table and I am going to prepare here SR flip flop table. Please listen. I am giving S equal to 1, R equal to 0. When then this AND gate produces 1 here. This AND gate produces 1 here. Due to both the inputs are 1, 1. Now due to one of the input is 1, that means this input is 1 means any one of the input is 1 means corresponding output 0. Therefore you are getting 0 here and this 0 goes here, two inputs are 0, therefore output is 1. Now I will draw SR flip flop to 2. Here S input, R input, Q output and remarks. Okay. S input is 1, R input is 0, Q is 1, remark is set. Okay. When S equal to 1, R equal to 0, Q equal to 1 and Q bar equal to 0. I told you, you have to mention only one output. No mentioning of second output Q bar because it is always complement. Now already we have seen if you change this into 0, if you change this into 0, then this will become 0. Due to this AND gate, it will become 0. But this input is 1, this input is 1, then if any one of the input is 1, then the corresponding output is 0, therefore again both are 0, therefore it is 1, therefore here it is 0, 0 means 1, 
then no change then no change now if you change the input here if you change the input one here Change the full input here. Then clock pulse is one, and gate producer is one. As I told you, any input is one, the corresponding output is zero. Therefore, this becomes zero, this zero comes here. Therefore, here you are getting zero, both are zero means you are getting one. Therefore, R equal to one, S equal to zero means output is zero. This is a reset condition. This is reset condition. Again, if you change this to zero, here already zero, you are getting same zero, and it is no change. No change. I told you again. This is a sequential circuit because both second row and fourth row are same inputs but different output. Both are different output. Therefore, SR flip flop is a sequential circuit. Now, if you give one one, if you give one one here, then both are one. When both are one means both the AND gates generate one. Both the AND gates generate one due to this input to the NOR gates. Both are giving same outputs, but the basic flip flop condition is defeated due to this. Both the outputs should be complement to each other. If both are generating same means, we cannot say flip flop. Therefore, one one condition here is forbidden. One one condition is here forbidden. R not allowed. R not allowed. This is the drawback of SR flip flop. Now I am going to draw this same into NAND gate. I am going to draw this SR flip flop into a NAND gate form. Here, how to change? You simply convert all the gates into a NAND gate. All the gates into NAND gate. Now this one NAND gate, this one NAND gate. Now <coughs> cross coupling you make, you draw a cross coupling, this coupling and this one cross coupling. Output is Q, this output is Q bar. Always Q is at the top and Q bar is at the bottom. Now these two are also NAND gates. Therefore, here you connect NAND gate, here you connect NAND gate. Okay. Now all are NAND gates only. Here one input, another input, and both are connected to clock pulse. Both are connected to clock pulse. Now what's the difference between using NOR gate and NAND gate? Because two channel will be different. Therefore, here the change comes. Here the lower is S input. Here R is the output. Top is R. Here this is S input. This is R input. That is the difference between NOR gate SR flip flop and NAND gate SR flip flop. Okay. NOR gate SR flip flop and NAND gate SR flip flop. SR NAND. This is SR NOR. Now let us check how when S equal to 1, when S equal to 1 and R equal to 0. S equal to 1, R equal to 0. Now CP equal to 1 in order to accept the inputs, CP is always maintained 1. Now here 1, 1. When both the inputs are 1, 1, this is the NAND gate truth table. When both the inputs are 1, 1, NAND gate produces 0. NAND gate produces 0. Now for this NAND gate, let it be A, let it be B. For this NAND gate, see one input is 0. 
one input is zero. If any one of the input is zero, the corresponding output is one. This is zero to understand. If any one of the input is zero, the corresponding output is one. Therefore, here you are getting one. Now this one comes here. This one comes here. Now due to this, you are getting zero here. You are getting zero here. Okay. Due to this one, you are getting zero here. If one is there, then it will be zero. Now, if you change this, if you change this into zero, or oh, sorry, you can change this into zero. This also zero. This also zero. Then the second condition will come. Then the second condition. If you change r equal to one, if you change r equal to one, s equal to zero. Then what will happen? Then this AND gate, sorry, NAND gate produces one due to this one, okay? And here due to this one, both the ones are zero. Both the ones are zero. That means here you are getting both the one. Both the ones are zero means here you are getting zero. Both the ones are zero means here you are getting zero. Then, if any one is zero means the corresponding output is one, you are getting one here. Please listen. You are giving R equal to one, S equal to zero, C P is one. For this NAND gate, both the inputs are one. Both the inputs are one means output is zero. This NAND gate produces zero. For this NAND gate, that is B NAND gate. One input is zero. If any one input is zero, corresponding output is one. This one goes here. This one goes here. Therefore, here you are getting zero. Okay, here you are getting zero. Now, S is equal to zero. R equal to one. Q equal to zero. That means the third one, a reset condition. Again, in this case also, you cannot give one one. Due to the same reason, both the outputs will be same. We have to get complement output, but same means it is not possible for a flip flop. Therefore, here also one one means feminine state. That means not allowed. Now, how to change? Our topic is deep flip flop. Therefore, how to change this into a deep flip flop? Deep flip flop is a single input. Deep flip flop is a single input flip flop. It is called theta flip flop or delay flip flop. Okay, it is called theta flip flop or delay. Therefore, deep flip flop. Now, I told you one input. Therefore, we are converting S R into deep flip flop. Therefore, this is the input of this S input, this is R input. Now this is the D input. This is the D input. Here this is the S input earlier. Now I am changing S into D. I am changing S into D. Okay, understand? I am changing S into D input. And this R is the. Therefore you simply connect one NOT gate here. You connect one NOT gate here. Now earlier it is R. Now let us check when D equal to one. When D equal to one, it is earlier yes. Therefore, it is complemented through a NOT gate. Therefore, R equal to zero. S equal to one. R equal to zero means you are getting second input. That means you are getting Q equal to one. You are getting Q equal to one. I am preparing table for here. This is single input D and Q output. Okay, I am keeping CP always one. I am keeping C CP always one. That is, it is one means it is positive triggering. Therefore, up means positive triggering. 
therefore I am not mentioning here or if you want to mention you can mention here also CP is always 1 here now see D equal to 1 means earlier it is yes now it is D therefore D equal to 1 and this complement that means it, here it is yes due to SR flip flop therefore if you convert means you can delete this no problem when D equal to 1 means Q equal to 1 Q equal to 1 and the Q bar there is no mention therefore remark this is set condition when D equal to 0 when D equal to 0 that means S equal to 0 S equal to 0 means it is complemented through a not gate therefore r equal to 1 therefore this condition s equal to 0 r equal to 1 that means reset that means you are getting q equal to 0 q bar 1 ok understand when d equal to 0 means single input it is complemented now s equal to 0 r equal to 1 that means it is a reset condition therefore clock pulse is there d equal to 0 Q equal to 0, this is reset, this is reset, only two inputs, now you cannot give 1 1, therefore we are overcoming the drawback of SR flip flop, in D flip flop we are overcoming the forbidden condition of SR flip flop, here you cannot give 0 0 as well as you cannot give 1 1 because it is a single input. You can either give 0 or you can give 1. Now I erase this and I will make a block diagram for this. This is D input and Q output, Q bar output. Okay. D input and Q and Q bar output. Here, this is the clock pulse. Clock pulse D input. Okay. It is a flip flop. You can write here flip flop. D flip flop. Single input to outputs. Now, this is using NOR gate. Now, you can change using NAND also you can design D flip flop using NAND also how to change we have changed here only S input only here this is the S input therefore you change here you change here this is the S therefore this is now D now you change here into a NOT gate and connect now earlier this is 1 now it is D Earlier this is R, but it is connected through a NOT gate. Now let us see if S equal to D equal to 1 means S equal to 1, R equal to 0 due to this NOT gate. Again you are getting the same type. Understood? Therefore D flip flop or data flip flop has single input and two outputs. When you give 1, it generates 1. When you give 0, it generates 1. 0. This D flip flop is mainly used in registers. Let us see in the shift register how we are using this D flip flop. Thank you. If you have any doubt, please drop in a comment. Thank you.